Do you ever worry that you might be audited? Do you wonder how far back they can look at what has been filed? As you've probably heard, with the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, additional funds are being allocated to the IRS to hire 87,000 more agents. With more agents, the number of audits will increase. How long does the IRS have to start an audit? In general, the timeline is three years from when you filed your return, but they can actually audit more years if you've made some errors. For instance, if you omit more than 25% of your income, the statute of limitations is increased to six years. You might be wondering how this large of an oversight would be possible on wages or other income. But the IRS considers more than just employment salaries as income. If you overstate your cost basis on something you sell, such as a home or stock, that affects income reported. And you may have overlooked foreign funds earned. According to an article written by Robert W. Wood, there are actually 13 IRS statute of limitation rules. In this article, he states the statute of limitations never applies if you omit Form 3520 for gifts and inheritances from foreign nationals or for 8938 for overseas assets. And of course, if you never file a return, there is no time limit for the IRS to initiate an audit. And according to Mr. Wood, Failing to file Form 5471, which is required if owning a foreign corporation, that can result in a $10,000 penalty per form. This document is not only required of U.S. shareholders in controlled foreign corporations, they are also required when a U.S. shareholder acquires stock, resulting in 10% ownership in any foreign company. An additional penalty may apply if the form is filed late, is incomplete or inaccurate. And if you fail to file a required form 5471, your entire tax return remains open for audit indefinitely. Also be aware that if you don't sign your return, the IRS does not consider it as filed. That means the three years never starts to run. For audit periods with a deadline, the clock starts running on the later of your actual filing or the due date. Be sure to meet with your tax preparer, let them know if you are an owner or stockholder of a foreign corporation, and make sure all required documents are filed. And be sure to sign the return either electronically for e-filed forms or in ink for mailed returns. Failing to do so could mean your returns are open to audits forever 